welcome RGC. Uh, just want to go over um, the gold mining process um, for the Welcome to RGC series that uh, I've been uh, working on for the last month or so, just to help uh, welcome in new new players to the community. Um, so, on this one here, we're just going to go over the whole gold mining process from loading the material, um, going over the, actually the terra farming because that's what we use now is terra farming. Loading the truck, bringing it to the wash plant, and, and filling the wash plant. Taking the concentrate from the wash plant, moving it to the the uh, wash room, washing up the concentrate, and then taking the gold from there and moving it to the smelter. So it's like a three production process to get your pay dirt to become gold bars. And I'm just gonna just briefly go over it. Um, the first thing is basically how do you get to the uh, the dirt out of the ground because that's the question a lot of people have and um, everything that we use for mining equipment will have terra farming enabled or able to use terra farming for it with the terra farm mod um, which I let you guys uh, have on the website we have a terra farm 16x 4x and a normal size 2x terra farming uh, whatever map size you're playing on I would recommend to use it um, in the upper right, you see where the time is and how much money you have right below that. If you are in your equipment that has terra farming on it, that should show up there, terra farm. Right now I have it set to flatten. Um, that's what we use 99% of the time when we're digging. Um, we don't usually lower uh, or smooth too much. <clears throat> uh, flatten is a perfect way to get a perfect level ground when you're doing a cut. So this is our gold mining cut that we are on our server working on. Um, you can say we do multiple layers to get down to where we're at. And <clears throat> flatten is perfect to get that nice, perfect, smooth, flat ground and also be able to move material very easily. So you just set yourself down a, a level and whatever is above your tracks, basically you're gonna level down to you, flatten down to you. Um, so to, in order to get to the options to change it, um, the settings or whatever to set up for the material that you're digging you're gonna hit the I key on your keyboard and that's gonna bring up this menu here <clears throat> within this menu you don't really need to do too much on this first setting here it's just basically turning on or off uh, terraforming and this is debug mode which is just turns off your I, your uh, your nodes on your bucket so you can just turn those off if you want if you don't want to see them um, yeah that's that's it there this is the menu that you really need to go into uh, the first few options all the way down before material all these options here it tells you exactly what it is I'm not going to go over them I recommend not even to worry about them not touch them unless you want to get really into depth on certain settings that you can change it's literally um, what straightforward what it says all right so this material here is going to be the material you're digging so we want to dig pay dirt um, out of the ground so we're going to switch this to pay dirt this is the material that you're getting out of the ground. Um, this paint radius basically is setting the radius outside of the bucket that you want to paint the ground. Typically, I always go up a little bit, uh, so it kind of when you when you're digging, you can see a different texture painted to the ground around your bucket. 125. That's a decent size there. Your paint layer. This is the layer that's going to be painted on the ground. So we switch that to pay dirt so it kind of matches up with what we're digging for dirt out of the ground. Now these are all your terraform strength settings. You have your radius which is widens out so you can grab more material outside of your bucket if you want. So if you want to expand the, the size of your bucket you can go higher than 100. Um, I typically don't touch the radius too much on the excavators. Um, I mainly do that to the dozer at 125 is a good setting for a dozer um, but when the, the first setting here this is for basically the lowering um, so we don't need to touch this one we're doing only going to be doing flatten so this is uh, terra farming strength discharge flatten and smooth our, our flatten strength for excavators 150 125 has a fairly smooth realistic digging uh, speed I guess because the higher your strength the faster your materials going to get into your bucket so you kind of mess with that radius I leave it at that so the biggest thing is you're changing your material to what you're going to be digging 
and the other one is the texture that you want to paint. Um, or the rest of this is just on feel and test it out to see what you like. All right, so we're gonna go back here, and what we see up in the upper right is on flattened, so that's good. I'm just gonna show you the settings real quick. We have smooth, material, lower, and flattened for the excavator. We're on flat discharge. It, you get hit Y, by the way, to change this. So Y will change your terraforming settings. B will change your discharge settings to raise, flat, smooth, paint, material. So this is what's going to discharge out of your bucket. We want material coming out. So we want to dig the terrain, flatten it down to where our track level is. And when we're, all we're doing that, we want material to discharge out of the bucket. Um, you can change it to raise and all that and uh, smooth and, and stuff. So what do you dump the material instead of dumping materials you're gonna dump terrain basically it's gonna, it's gonna sculpt the terrain so you can actually can build terrain as same as digging terrain so keep that in mind you can mess with those settings if you want we're just digging pay dirt out of the ground and, and dumping it into a truck and setting that material off so we want to have discharge as a material all right so now we have our settings set um, we needed to activate this and you can see the the nodes are just grayish color as soon as we activate it by hitting O on the keyboard, it's going to turn purple. Purple, now we know we're active. In the upper right, you see it turn blue, and the, and the uh, lettering got brighter. White, it was a grayish color. I'll turn it off so you can see. So it kind of, actually it doesn't really change too much. The icons do, to so go gray to white, and that turned blue. So we're active. Um, now we're just going to start digging. As soon as you get your bucket to touch the terrain, it's going to turn a teal color. I already have some material in there. Um, so, you can see how it turned that teal. So, those of you are in contact with the ground, not a big deal. It's just it's a good indication that you're you're touching the ground. So, yeah, we're going to fill this bucket here. I'm going to bring it up to the wash plan. We've got some pay dirt. Um, once we get to the wash plan, I'll show you that it takes more materials than pay dirt. You can load in regular dirt, you can load in overburden, uh, pay dirt, and stream pay in the wash plants now. So, I'm just gonna load this up. Okay. Don't need to be 100%, but pretty close to it. So, <clears throat> we're gonna bring this to the wash plant. You can keep this realistic if you like, and do it kind of how we do it here on this cut. Or you can bring in a overload station, which we have. Um, or you can build a bridge, or build a ramp that goes up to it. So we have two different ways that we can load it. We can just jump into overload station, and that will automatically load it. Or we can dump um, in front of this excavator. We've built a platform. Mm -hmm platform for it sorry about that and direct dump it, dump it directly on the ground like this I'm just gonna keep it real for this video here show you guys how we like to do it I'm gonna leave this discord so I don't get that again So now we're just going to load it into the hopper here. I like to do it this way. It, it makes it feel like it, it, you know the real world, how they do it. Um, the hopper feeder is not meant to be overloaded in real life. So if you dump a full truck in there um, in, in, a, in a realistic setting, typically the hopper feeder will overflow and jam and you'll have a miserable time. If you load it solely, uh, the way it's, those are designed, they will process it and it will feed your conveyor belts at a certain speed and uh, you won't get any jams or anything like that on your you know in your system um, the overload station is also a realistic way because it when you dump your truck load into the overload station that you see here across the way it loads it slowly I mean it, it loads it at a steady pace pretty quickly it's just it's not all at once so you still get that feel of it loading you know at a realistic pace um, the overload station is not a RGC mod, it is a, a mod that uh, 
I'm using from a mod site. Um, you can find that type overload station in there, or you can grab it from our server because we use it on our server. All right, so we just got a full load in there. Um, that's going to process <coughs> and turn into concentrate, and then also tailings. Um, what you need to to uh, get this to run initially is you're going to have to bring uh, diesel fuel to your generator before it will be able to be active. We're going to jump into the menu here now. So by going to this icon here and hitting R, open up production menu, this will bring you to the menu of this dirt wash plant. Um, so each wash plant, like I said, has multiple different productions within it. As in, you can wash dirt, you can wash overburden, you can wash pay dirt, wash stream pay. We are washing dirt right now. Um, so first things first, if you if it's not activated, it won't process anything. So you gotta make sure you're you're activated. So right now we have deactivated it. Make sure we're active. Um, it, it's already processed the pay dirt that we put in there because um, it's fairly quick. So we have 18,000 concentrate, uh, 12,000 tailings. We've been using this for a while when we were full on diesel. Um, so I recommend using a, the base game diesel. I'm just going to show you that real quick. Um, I've created mods based off the base game uh, stuff. So if you go into farming, you go all the way over to the tanks are right here. This is a fuel tank use this it's, it holds 30,000 liters just to get it going you're not going to need 500,000 like I have the um, reason why we have so much is because we have crude production going in the map and by making crude we were refining it into their diesel and kerosene and we have it distributed to uh, all of our production set take diesel so we're always we're always going to be full once we have the the crude production going but yeah just I recommend you just purchasing this here it's going to work and just back up over the trigger here to dump your diesel in. If you use other mods for diesel tanks or whatever, I can't guarantee it to work. Make sure you get that base game one. I know it works. I guarantee that. I've had a lot of people ask me, my, the, the trigger is not working. Just use that tank, it will work. Um, so that's basically, in a nutshell, how the wash plant works. Okay, we bring in our material to it, make sure it's active. Um, you can choose pay dirt. Like I said, dirt, overburden, stream pay. Um, each has a different, obviously, <coughs> efficiency. So each uh, production will have a different efficiency. So you look at the dirt, it has 20,000 dirt, um, gives you only 200 to concentrate. Um, overburden is the least efficient. 30,000 overburden only gives you 100 concentrate. You can see it, the pattern here. Overburden is not meant to be processed you can to get rid of it it's just going to give you a little bit of concentrate so is it worth it probably not um, overburden can also be used in the dirt production as well um, so you can bring it up to your dirt processing plant or your material processing plant and that will process the overburden and give you um, like iron and other sand and gravels and stuff like that uh, pay dirt more efficient uh, recommend running this obviously it's pay dirt right um, 15,000 gives you 300 concentrate. Stream pay is going to be the mother load, basically. When you hit stream pay, it's, it's a role playing kind of thing, right? A lot of people are just going to run stream pay. They just, then they're going to skip everything, and that's fine. It's still not crazy, but 10,000 gives you 400. Um, good stuff. Uh, we reenact it only in the streams when we're digging them out, obviously, around the stream area. Higher concentrated gold is, is you know in the river bends and stuff like that. Reuse stream pay when we're digging streams out. Also, when we're doing our dirt cuts, um, like the Yukon, the strip mining, basically take the overburden off. We reenact that, and we reenact the dirt layer below the overburden before we get down to the pay. Um, then once we get to the pay dirt, well, we go a couple layers until we hit bedrock. We reenact bedrock as being the water table. So as soon as we start seeing a little bit of water. Um, we'll back it up a little bit and that last layer that we do in our cuts will be stream pay that gives us the highest concentrate of uh, concentrate <laughs> uh, so yeah that's just tells you the numbers here uh, stream pay is really rich pay dirt is is really good as well um, 
So yeah, just going to go over the capacities of the concentrate pallets. Um, there are buckets. I set the pallets to 40,000 liters uh, because it's less movement of the pallets, but you can spawn these items at any time. So if you want to, we already have a bucket over there sitting on the ground because we've been processing before this video. We are on, we're on our, we are on our um, server, so we've been running this quite actively. Um, we're going to spawn another one. It's only going to have 18,000 liters in it, but with production revamp, hit spawn items, one pallet, 18,000 liters, hit OK, boom, we're, at, we're down to zero, and we just got another pallet, basically a bucket, 18,000 liters, see? So, I get a lot of questions in our Discord about, uh, once my, once my buck pallet going to spawn, it's already at 15,000, I haven't got a bucket yet. Just go in and spawn it out whenever you're ready to, or just keep moving material. Uh, we move so much material that sometimes when we come over here, we are, we have like 120,000 liters of dirt, so we have four buckets, you know, so it's uh, three buckets. So, yeah, we're just going to load up this concentrate here. Um, we're going to strap it down, and we're going to head up to the washroom. So, like I said, these buckets are 40,000 liters. You can either wait for them or spawn them manually, just, just like I said. So, these are already set up. Um, and we've been processing stuff, so you already see some gold flakes that have already spawned in, in those jars. Uh, but we're going to back these in over the trigger. You can uh, reenact it, take them out if you want, but um, you can just back them right up and it will automatically come off the truck. Unstrap it. And voila, we just uh, put in like 53,000, whatever, 58,000, whatever it is, in there. So that's processing at this time. Um, the wash plant does need um, diesel fuel too. Out back, um, so same thing. Use that base game trailer for diesel. Uh, this is a water pump system. We don't need water for this. It's typically you're near a a lake, so I figured I'll leave water out of it. Um, so your diesel, same thing. Use the base game mod that I've created in farming. For diesel fuel back put park that right next to it dump that fuel in there and then then make sure you activate it right i'm gonna go in the menu show you the menu open productions here hit r on that icon to open up productions uh, this is your gold washroom um, basically your incoming materials is just going to be the concentrate make sure you have diesel again we're full because of our crude production um, so it's going to take 500 your, your concentrate it's going to wash it and give you 300 gold so your gold you can sell if you would like um, at the market is not going to get as good of a price until you make it into a bar um, they want it typically you know you don't have to but it's worth a little bit more as a gold bar versus gold plate because that's what they got to do when they get it they're going to make it to a bar uh, to be sold or to a you know a buyer so the, the price goes up if you have it in a gold bar that state um, so it's fairly simple here. There's not no other productions involved. There's no other materials going in besides concentrate um, and diesel to make your your gold. Um, the process, the change here is same deal. Um, these pallets are up to 20,000 liters before they'll spawn them out. You can manually spawn an item here the same way. We're not going to. We just showed you how to do that. But we can get 9,638 liters if we want and bring it to the to the uh, smelter but we already have three jars here so I'm just going to show you this here are our, our safes you can buy the safes in the pallet section here um, this is our GC gold safe you can buy that bring them here there's only one thing about pallet these safes that you need to know if you keep them too close together a um, option will come up in your controls in the upper left saying refill pallet you can't get that rid of that refill pallet no matter what you do if those are, are, are together it, it really triggers it when one's empty and one's not it's always going to be constantly wanting to refill the, the each pallet it's like communicating back and forth and say refill pallet refill pallet so whenever you're in a, in, in a vehicle and you want to hit r on it on something you won't be able to because that option is being taken so if you're going to get two different safes the way that we have it set up keep them um, separated far enough where that that's not going to trigger so if you ever see a refill pallet 
option in your menu up there is because these two saves are too close together to separate them. Um, it's okay when they both have a little bit of material in them to move them past each other. But when one's empty and you're walking, see if you fill this up with gold flakes and you're going to walk this over to the smelter. If this one here is empty, we have 50,000 leaders in there now. If that was empty, all your gold would dump into there. So keep that in mind. If you want to move over your flakes, just move this out of the way like this. And we're going to move over our flakes into the smelter. So we're going to take these jars. You can do them individually if you want into the smelter. But we're going to load them into a safe. It's a little bit quicker and more efficient. Just pick them up, hover them over, boom. Trigger's very large, so all you really have to do is pick them up and go like this, and they go right in. So, we now have 80,000 liters, because those are 20,000 each. And we're going to move, we already have the jar in there from earlier. Just pick it up in your hands, and we're just going to walk it over into the smelter here. You can do these individually jars too, so if you spawn out one jar, you can pick it up and just walk it over individual jars, you don't need to have a safe. But we have a pretty large production on our server where, you know, we're moving over two or three hundred thousand liters of concentrate, and we'll have about ten jars to put in, and instead of individually walking over ten times, we can just walk over once. So we're going to bring that back here, um, I place it right here, just so we, we can always see it. Make sure there's room on each side to drive the truck by, but that's that's that. So that's your wash room. Move your concentrate in there. It's gonna wash your concentrate, turn it into gold flakes, so to speak. It's gonna be called gold jars. Move them into your safe. Move them into your smelter. So we're gonna get into our smelter. This is a very simple process. We already got a gold bar. Um, very simple process. Just put your gold flakes in. It's going to smelt it and give you gold bars. There's going to be a little bit of a loss. Because when you're melting the metal down, it's typically um, a tiny bit of loss. It's not much. You get 300 gold flakes and get 290 bar. Very efficient. Right? Not losing a crazy amount of gold. It's still going to be worth more as a bar status to do this process, even though you're losing a tiny bit of gold from doing it. Um, so yeah, we can see the gold that we put in there. It's processing right now. Simple process, gold into gold bars. It's gonna spawn right here as a bar, okay? Um, so all you gotta do is grab your safe, 50,000 liters. Set it down, and then, I think I, I just use this edge here as a reference. So sometimes if you have your bar spawning, Right now we have it set to spawning. It's going to spawn automatically on the floor. Um, all you do is just, while it's here, basically the bar will will go automatically in there. We won't even see your bars. We're just going to go into your safe. Pick it up real quick. Boom, it's already in there. Yes, another 10,000. The bars are 10,000 liters before they'll spawn. Or you can go in and spawn manually. So we have 1,000 liters. We can spawn item. Spawn at 1,000 liters. I'll hit OK and that bar just spawned and automatically went in so now we have 61,000 so pretty simple stuff um, just on other notes here to change from storing just click on it you get change output so now it's going to be so it wasn't spawning but selling we can sell directly distribute you know where to distribute gold bars to storing is where you know we typically we do the, the most store it until we need to spawn them out then either we're going to spawn manually or change it to spawning so the bars will spawn on the ground and automatically go into safe uh, same thing with the uh, smelter um, if you I mean the washroom if you want to not move it manually you can just change the output to distribute and it will automatically be distributed into your washroom um, there really is no um, loss of material from for distributing so you're not going to lose so your, your 14,000 liters are going to go over there. So how it works with within productions, if you set to distribute, is at the very top of the hour. So if it's 11:59, soon as it hits 12, the zero zero, it's going to distribute everything that you have set to distribute in your productions. Um, you're not going to lose anything from distributing. You're, it's only going to cost you money based on how far the distribute is. So if you have your washroom and your smelter across the map from each other, 
your distributing cost is going to be a little bit higher. So at the end of the, the month or whatever in your stat sheet, uh, you'll see um, production cost, whatever. I might be able to show that here. Uh, production cost, no, it's going to be down in delivery cost productions. You can see here we have a lot of productions in this server and we have a high delivery cost. Uh, each each day, because we have one day, months, February, March, 363.84.74, obviously a uh, high production month here, but we're, we're making 16 million on that month. So one, one month we made 16 million. Our, our server, we have 67 residential properties on here be giving us income we have crazy farm going with lots of farmland we've been doing the server for four months we're, we're rolling in you know like, like, like you see there when we have a selling month we can make 20 million dollars pretty quickly our goal is to reach a billion dollars on the server and we're up to 442 million so in four months half a bit half a billion <laughs> um you know we, we've done a lot of work to get there but that, that's just being said, distributing cost is based off how far away it is. So being re real close together like this, you don't even need to put them in the safes. Just set that setting to distribute. Oh, I'm actually going in there and be making gold bars. Uh, you can even do that with concentrate. If you like, you don't need to spawn them out. Change your, um, oh, your, <laughs> uh, yeah, change that to distribute and it will distribute into your washroom then that would distribute over to here. So you, you, you can only be two, two sets. Putting the material in the washing plant and taking the gold bars out if you like to. Um, we're, we're doing this one realistically. This is called the realistic cut. That we're doing everything manually. Like we saw loading the wash plant manually. Moving our buckets up manually. and Yeah, just keeping it all real. That's what we're doing on this, on this cut. We do have a cut that is um, more a, as a production set of things we we're having ramps we have auto drive so we load our trucks the trucks are delivering it to the plant and driving back so we don't even need to do anything at the wash plant we're just loading trucks and they're distributing automatically and coming back to us and it's a great process um so yeah uh this is basically the whole tire gold processing process <laughs> um i showed you guys from the wash plant all the way to a gold bar um, I showed you a few tricks and things like that with how the bars are. There's no pallets. They're all done by hand. I like to, like it, to keep it as realistic as I can when it comes to the gold mining processes because of um, this is what I created for the game and I want to keep it interactive for you guys and make it worth doing. You can set everything all up animated if you like using this production revamp and distributing everything and make it easy. Um, or you can you know, give yourself a challenge, manually load your pallets and uh, your whatever, your bars or your jars into your safes and move them around. Um, one last thing is how, how this is sold. You do need to have a, um, a bank to sell that. So you're going to have to go into RGC tab here on your construction and you're going to go to sell and there's a gold bank. So this bank right here, you can place anywhere you like. Um, we have it placed in our town. I'm not going to drive there. Um, it's very simple. You just load your gold bars, safe. You go safe, you know, in, into your back of your truck or a trailer, however you like. Drive that to your bank, and it's going to give you. It's going to be a payday for you. Um, based on other sell points that, that's in the in the map, you can't sell your gold. So in order to sell gold, you need to save up money for a bank or you can set it directly to sell. So if you don't have money for a bank and you go, oh shit, I can't sell this, you still can just go into your, your icon here and set your gold bars, change output mode, that's what it is, to selling, top of the hour, ka is gonna sell. You're gonna get a little bit of a hit um, with production revamp. You're gonna get a little bit of a hit. Um, production revamp is set up to to be like a point default is like 0.9 so you know like a 10 percent loss on income and that's pretty efficient but just do it for one time whatever and you have enough money to buy a bank then you can just ship it to the bank and be making the maximum profit from it but alrighty guys uh, we got a 30 minute video i'm gonna try to keep all my production videos 
uh, for the newcomers here to 30 minutes. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to you know subscribe if you have not. It really helps the channel a lot. And uh, make sure you join a Discord if you have not already. All, all kinds of information on there. And we have a great website that has tutorials. Um, um, all the mods that we, are, we have. Pretty much the base for all RGC stuff is right on our website. You can get the Discord link from there. Um, you know, information on our servers and all that good stuff. So I got you again. Appreciate it and have a good day. See you in the next one.